and let us all that we can to build a better future. Lauren, I got a question for you. I do maybe have an answer for you. Have you decided to invest into crypto? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> well, all right. Consider yourself lucky because right now uh, celebrities are in trouble because they are looking at liability uh, uh, because people invested into crypto because, you know, some celebrities decided to attach themselves to the crypto craze. Now, again, folks, what I've we've talked about cryptocurrency before on our show, and I always want to tell people, yes, we've talked about it. And I understand a lot of people have invested in or dipped their toes into it. What I would always say is please double check, triple check, quadruple check your research so that everything is set and ready. And, uh, you know, always just research, research, research. But apparently now there's celebrities that are being held liable because of, uh, well, the recent collapse of what happened with FTX. So what am I talking about? Let me pull up this video here. And again, shout out to Case Study QB. He is wrongly being censored on uh, Twitter. Elon Musk, hashtag uh, fix, you know, Case Study QB's Twitter account so that he is no longer being censored and suppressed. So let's play this video. You know what? I'm in. Tom Brady, Vidal Bunchen, Larry David, Naomi Osaka, and Steph Curry are among the celebrities accused in a class action lawsuit of being part of a, quote, fraudulent scheme designed to take advantage of unsophisticated investors that led to $11 billion in damages. It's a safe and easy way to get the crypto. Yeah, I don't think so. All stemming from their involvement in promoting crypto exchange FTX. FTX's founder and CEO Sam Bankman-Fried was until recently the darling of the crypto community. His company, once valued at more than $32 billion, is now seeking bankruptcy protection. We're talking about one of the larger bankruptcies we've seen in a long time. The FTX founder, also named in the lawsuit, resigned as CEO as his company collapsed. He did not reply to NBC's request for comment, but in a direct message exchange with a reporter wrote, F regulators, they make everything worse. We also did not hear back from representatives for celebrities named in the law. I know, and some of these people we know. <laughs> hearing in ads like this. With FTX, I have everything I need to buy, sell, and trade crypto safely. But the lawsuit calls FTX's platform a Ponzi scheme and says of the defendants, none performed any due diligence. These celebrities all should have known that when they took this risk, that if these are unregistered securities, they're looking at liability for all of the damages. Bankman Freed has been accused of moving billions in. And this absolute collapse of what's happening with FTX has impacted a lot of people. And let's face it, FTX, as we covered on the show previously, also donated a large chunk of change to the Democratic Party. Customers funds without their permission to another one of his companies. His exchange then faced what was akin to a run on the bank. And now customers can't get their money out. That money when I had put aside for my granddaughter so I can use for Christmas. And now I have to figure out another way to do it. The new lawsuit now calls for accountability from FTX's big name endorsers. Jake Ward, NBC News, San Francisco. All right, but there's a little bit more that I want to play here. So uh, before we uh, do pull up that video, uh, Lauren, what are your thoughts? I mean... I was uh, I was also following this story, and one of the things that came up in my uh, news feed earlier this morning was again just a, a fun little tidbit about um, Sam Bankman Fried. Fried. Um, he is also now in trouble too for um, the because he he's getting sued for transferring quite a lot of the assets uh the chapter he's filed for cha chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and the filing said that he transferred a lot of those assets to the custody of the bahaman government so i think that's that's kind of he so it's just there's a lot of sus things going on in here and we're talking about it being a ponzi scheme which again i feel like a lot of crypto is really just feels like that because it, it, you're just putting money in and it gets moved around a lot and it's the shell it's a shell game it's always been a shell game and it is interesting to me that there's so many people. And again, I don't know if all of these celebrities knew about it or if they just also were taken in and they're like got swept up in the excitement of being involved in something new. I don't know. I don't want to ascribe malice to anyone who isn't atten like, intentionally screwing people over. Um, but I again, every a lot of the things that I've seen about this are really 
you know, zeroing in on the people that did buy into it and who were affected by it. And like the fact that they can't get their money out, even though like they were promised it would be safe. And like there's people who were literally being paid with this stuff. Like that was their paychecks, thousands of dollars of paychecks being paid to them through this particular, uh, through crypto. And they were told to use this service and now they can't get any of their money out and they they are screwed. And it's, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I have never trusted crypto really. I do think that eventually we're all going to have to be a little bit more on board with it, but I really hope that not there's a lot more protections before that becomes the thing. Like I know that we're always Agreed. shifting how currency works. Like we're not on the gold standard anymore. It's the almighty dollar. So eventually it might be the almighty Bitcoin. I have to be prepared for that eventuality, but it is not safe right now. And I, it's just, I gotcha. Isn't. <laughs> Sure, F regulators, they make everything worse. That's like saying F the umpire, they make the game worse. But without the umpire, you're out of the game entirely. Let's talk about these class action lawsuits because they're going after these big name celebrities, but they can't go to the SEC, right? They can't go to the government because all of these things were unregulated, right? People went in with a true buyer beware. The government's not here to bail you out. Because you're not a big bank, so of course. It's well, not that's absolutely right. There isn't any of the insurance, right? The FDIC backing or any of that that you would expect from a conventional form of wealth in this country. But it's also true stuff that we have seen uh, celebrity endorsers get into trouble in the past, and in this case with the SEC. You remember Kim Kardashian earlier this mm-hmm. year wound up having to pay about 1.26 million dollars in a fine because she had not revealed her relationship with the cryptocurrency companies that she was representing on Instagram. Well, in this case, uh, you know, what's funny is that at that time, there was a statement put out by the SEC saying, you know, celebrity endorsers should be reminded that it is not okay to be endorsing this stuff without revealing your relationship here. It does not seem at all clear that this long list of celebrities who helped to get so many people interested into it, helped to make FTX a household name. It's not clear at all that they internalized what the SEC was saying at that time. FTX hired maybe one of the biggest bankruptcy expert on the planet to take over the company. He stepped in and took over Enron after their disaster. He put out a statement saying this place is an absolute fiasco. He has never seen something so bad in his life. What could it mean for this company? What could the ramifications mean? Because they didn't just have celebrities endorsing it and bros trading it. it. They had the biggest investors on Wall Street backing them. I think that's absolutely right. We are seeing here not just uh, the dollars and cents collapse of billions of dollars in wealth. I think what this is turning out to be is a broad indictment of a culture that was run on fear of missing out on the narrative around this thing as opposed to the hard math of it. It's truly an indictment of the judgment of people that we have come to rely on when it comes to investment stuff. If fear of missing out is your trading strategy, you're going to lose. Jake Ward, thank you. All right, so there you go. And I think it's a final note for this. Um, we haven't seen the further fallout of FTX. It seems like to have its tentacles all over everyone and everything, not only just down to markets, but also on politicians, celebrities, and so much more. Um, why do I have a feeling that a hammer is going to be dropped down pretty damn soon? There you go. All right. Uh, any other final notes you'd like to add to the story, Lauren, before I we mean- do move on? I really just want to say what Roman Smith said, because I thought that was very funny in the chat. I'm investing in wooden nickels. It's getting cold out and you can't burn Bitcoin. 